there's no box. No. And all of the 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 coming together, whether it's fashion, art, music, skateboarding, all influencing each other all at once. You know, nationalities. You know what I mean? Even yeah. the nationalities that that influence all of our our being is what's so beautiful about skateboarding. <laughs> Welcome back to The Letters. I'm your host. Um, we're here with Lester Kasai. And uh, we want to talk to you about um, awesome skateboarders. We really just wanted to do a love letter and showcase you and Hisoi. Kind of the idea of the whole thing was to be able to show Hasoi peacocking around with his feathers <laughs> out, you know, and um, and all of the insanity, and you launching Muda's fucking it up one. Yeah, we just wanted to sit, sit down and uh, and talk to you about uh, what it was like growing up. Skateboarding and being Asian and being Asian. <laughs> <laughs> did, uh, did you? I mean, like, I, I think I might know a little bit about that. Yeah, I wanted to be Bruce Lee, and so I was going to be the best martial artist in the world. And then I got a skateboard, and I was like, wait a minute, I want to be the best at this. And so I didn't really think of the opposition. I didn't think of the roadblocks of me being Japanese or Hawaiian, you know, or Chinese, all the things that I am to stop me. I just thought I'm going to I'm going to dominate. I'm going to take over. It's like that's all I thought about because that's what I got inspired from. get into talking about this and Shogo's name gets invoked a lot and I know he was a huge influence on you growing up at Marina. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Shogo was uh, definitely the leader of like being a minority that didn't even speak English. He could learn English as he was skating a backyard pool, mm -hmm. ripping. Shogo was a leader for us, you know, Asians and, you know, back then that, you know, he made it seem possible that you could actually compete. And also that you break the, the, the stereotype that this is a surf sport or this is a, a white kid's sport. This skateboarding spoke for itself, you know. The first person I've ever seen do a layback grind, like full on lapped over layback grind, like almost Smith grinding, was Shogo. Yeah. And that was in a backyard pool. I played him in that Lords of Dogtown movie. And, you know, I remember like seeing photos of him like growing up and shit, but like never like, you know, never met him or anything. And We're, we've been talking about Asian skateboarders and Shogo's come up so much. And so th this is his son, Shota. Hi. <laughs> what are some of your early influences? I have to say Lon Hiromoto was, was definitely one of mine. Oh. Yeah, Lon Hiromoto. Lonnie Hiramoto, I was like, Japanese, who's hot? Yeah. I was like, I want a who's hot. There was few Asian skaters, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And to me, that's what made it kind of even more special is that we were so few. I think we even went through a phase where we tried to do the Wally hand. You know, he had that weird hand. So he was the fucking shit. 
And so everybody was like, yeah, his style's rad, but it was because he broke his fucking wing so many times. Barry's never heard about it anymore. I, everybody thinks I broke the skateboard and I broke it when I was five on rings. Like monkey bars? Like yeah, like, yeah. so you know those rings that you would go yeah. across and it just turned out like this and I've run into so many skaters who they said they would try to imitate, imitate my style and they couldn't, they said, they, well you couldn't quite get the arm tweak. You know? <laughs> yeah, cause look. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, Wally was a banger. Five covers? Yeah, he, he was like, yeah, he was like the, um, he was like the Hisoi of his time, basically. You know, I was a little kid wanting to go the highest. And then I saw Lester, and Lester was just like a cannon. Yeah! He would just not stop till he like bailed. He'd just keep going higher and higher and higher. I'm like, he's not gonna stop and he'd just keep going. And then he'd explode and it'd be the most adrenaline filled like moment in skateboarding. Like All trying to buy, we're just trying to go high, and it just felt cool, felt awesome. Yeah, right, Grasso? Yeah. yeah, yeah. What about like Lester or Christian? Lester, oh my god, I love that guy so much, man. It's hard for me to talk to you about Lester because and he changed my whole life. And Lester, you say, as far as I'm concerned, should be given a million dollars right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just write a check. Yeah, just write it. Just bang. Bro, yeah. because he brought so much spirit to the sport, bro. We're talking about it. I know I've gone way off track in that. Fuck who cares. <laughs> Lester Yasai is in my top five skaters of all time. <laughs> Formerly from Hawaii, now in California, Christian Hasoi, he's known for his major aerials. Christian is a well-known high-flying vertical pilot. I've done the rocket air, that's pretty much my trademark. Lean methods, I like bio airs, I like to go as high as I can, and... 540s are like the ultimate feeling for me. And it's not just his air style the girls love, they also go for his hair style. Well, you're right, Richard, and Christian. I was fortunate enough to be one of Thrasher's, you know, um, yeah, darlings, one of Thrasher's, yeah, how many you know, covers have you sons, had? one of, you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I mean, they have you on the cover of the Christ. Like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck, really? <laughs> you haven't had a cover? No. Oh, man. Hey, guys, I'm getting kind of burnt on this rap scene. Yeah. What do you guys think? Yeah. Hey, let's go Sadlands. Sadlands. Yeah. 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 Sadlands. I forgot about that. So I had a rat thing going. He had like a little like Asian gang. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Bo Kida. Yeah. Johnny right. Cop. Yep. Oster. Oster. Yeah, he asked me to write for him, too, at that time. And I was like, man, oh. Be part of the gang? I don't know. It was it was the triad with Monty Nolder. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. Monty Nolder yeah. was on yeah, there. Just... Yeah, you, do you want to break down the Benny Hanna for everybody once and for all? Should we? But that trick's kind of hated. Well, here's the thing. You know what you know what it comes down to. It comes out to flyouts and deck checks at everybody's park, mm -hmm. and there's the kids flying out doing Benihanas over the orange cone Absolutely. and driving everybody completely mad. The front side Benihana is a front side one footed tail grab. Benihana is a fakey ollie tail grab and take your back foot off and put it back on. Uh, it's basically a fakey thruster without thruster. putting your it's a fakey thruster without, without putting, putting your, your foot, foot down. down. Yeah. That's, That's what it's supposed to be, yeah. Yeah. Come back and in. what's the regular front side air one? That is the Benny Bonga. Did you come up with that one too? Yeah. Hasoi really took it Benny and, Bonga. and he did it really good and it took off. 
You know, one thing I, I'm thankful about is that out, out of all my outlandish things that, you know, wearing spandex and crazy, you know, things that I did, you know, I really meant it. It was just, it, it was just <laughs> sincere. You know what I mean? I wasn't, yeah. you know, acting. I, I have to thank my dad because he would always tell me, you know, you better just be real, be, be you. What do you got to say about Hasoy? Oh man. <laughs> Have you guys gone on two hours? <laughs> Chicks dig scars, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bless you can sigh for the letters. Right on, go skate. This nonsense, you listening to my stupid ass. What, how, what, huh? You're confused, you're alone, it's Saturday night, you have no pants on? Click here to watch more Love Letters to Skateboarding.